So we got ourselves another Eridos reverse. And we got the Primal Groudon. What's good, everybody? Darkle here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see, we got the Dark Ghoul. I don't know why I called this Dark Ghoul, but we got the Tokyo Ghoul playmat once again. And if you're wondering where is the Evolutions playmat, I'm just lazy to change it, but don't worry, it will be back. Anyways, y'all, in today's video, there is a brand new Pokemon tin yet again. Yes, a bunch of Pokemon card products have been releasing left and right. I was going to open up this tin yesterday. But I ran into some car issues and I had to go to the dealership and a whole bunch of other stuff to get it done. But now we're here, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's video, we're opening up Pokeball tins. And there is one specific brand new Pokeball tin. And it is the Premier Ball, as you guys can see, right in front of me. We got ourselves a Premier Ball. And this Pokeball is absolutely beautiful however the catch rate on the premiere ball is absolutely terrible but it looks amazing and i always try to catch my pokemon with a premiere ball if i can you feel me because the white and red it just looks really really cool and i like to catch my pokemon with other type of pokeballs rather than the pokeball great ball and ultra ball you feel me because there is a bunch of amazing pokeball types out there and honestly my most favorite Pokeball type is a Luxury Ball, you feel me? Because not only does it make your Pokemon more friendly when you catch it, but the design on that Pokeball type is absolutely the best. So ladies and gentlemen, the question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite Pokeball type? Is it the Pokeball, the Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Love Ball, Heavy Ball? There is so many types, it's absolutely insane. The Dust Ball, the Luxury Ball, the Master Ball, I could go on, dive ball, net ball, I could go on and on and on and on of all Pokeball types, but just let me know which is your most favorite in the comments down below. So in today's video, we're not going to open up just one of these Pokeballs. This is how many we're going to open up. How many Pokemon can you have in your party max? Waiting for the answer. If you guessed six Pokemon, then you are correct. And so if you have six Pokemon in your party, how many Pokeballs is that? That is six, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, you guessed it right. We're opening up six Pokeball types. All right, guys. So right in front of me, we got ourselves a lovely little Pokeball, a great ball. We also have a quick ball. And then we have three of the brand new Premier Balls. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button because this is going to be absolutely insane. I'm hoping that the packs inside these Pokeballs aren't throwaway packs like Ancient Origins, XY Evolutions, and stuff like that, because that would be very devastating. But I kind of have a feeling that the packs inside of these Pokeball tins is going to be similar to the Kanto Power tins that we opened up recently. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the Ghoul Army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army, you could be featured in a video like these lovely individuals that you see on the screen. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up every single one of these Pokeball tins, and we're going to dive right into it, you feel me? Like I said, the only new Pokeball tin that released is the Premier Ball. All the other ones like the Quick Ball, Great Ball, Pokeball, you guys have already seen those on the channel. So just keep in mind, the Premier Ball is the only new one so ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and dive right into the opening a few moments later and just like that ladies and gentlemen we got every single one of these pokeball tins opened and here is the premiere ball out of the plastic i'm not gonna lie these pokeball tins they look absolutely insane and i actually really like them and i'm definitely gonna display this premiere ball on my shelf with the rest of my pokemon stuff but let's go ahead and reveal what kind of packs if i can okay there we go i got it open i thought i was gonna struggle a bit more but let's see what kind of booster packs we have within and ladies and gentlemen we already have ancient origins i love mega t tar don't get me wrong but ancient origins bro 
And then, ooh, we have Burning Shadows. That's a good one. And then we have Crimson Invasion. So Crimson Invasion and Ancient Origins are the same booster packs that we got from the mini power tins. Honestly, the only decent packs is going to be the Burning Shadows because y'all already know there is a $200 Rainbow Rare Charizard inside this set. But look at that. These packs are so squished in, there is definitely not going to be super minty cards within these packs and then in every single pokeball you obviously get the 10 you get three packs so that's four items and then the fifth item is going to be a metallic finish coin right here and it's a low in nine tails bro that's literally the same coin that we got from the mini kanto power tins that is actually disappointing i'm not gonna lie so we got our three packs and a coin that they basically re-released in the mini power tins as well as these two packs that i am holding right here so literally we're gonna save the burning shadow packs for last and we're gonna get rid of the ancient origins and crimson invasion so let me go ahead and take everything else out from the rest of the tins Alrighty guys, so we got all of the booster packs right here. We got our stack of Burning Shadows, and then we got our stack of Ancient Origins, Crimson Invasion. We're gonna go ahead and put those towards the side. Here is all the coins, literally the same coins in every single tin. Let's get the star of the show, and ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get the show rolling, and let's see how many Ultra Rares can we get from these Pokeball tins. Let's see if they are loaded, or I basically played myself in paying $12.99 per tin for basically the packs that are within. I honestly wouldn't pay $12.99 again for these tins because the packs that they have inside these, let's be real guys, they are definitely, definitely not the best and Burning Shadows is nice to get, sure, but you're paying for an entire tin of goods, not just for the Burning Shadows pack. So we got ourselves a Metagross, regular rare and i'm not gonna lie this regular rare is actually really dope because it's like basically almost a full art but i guess you can call them half arts because that's what people usually call them anyways but ladies and gentlemen we are now moving on to crimson invasion and it just feels like i opened up these two sets yesterday because i literally recently just opened up ancient origins and crimson invasion bro so it's kind of kind of funny so we got the diggersby the ghastly and we got the xerneas holographic ladies and gentlemen so let's go ahead and put that as the star of the show because it's our only pool right now sadly so two packs in we're not looking too hot usually when you pull a banger in the first pack that is a sign of good luck or at least that's what i usually think you feel me so let's go ahead and jump into some more ancient origins and let's see what we get guys we got the eridos and another metagross check that out i love metagross but you know, we ain't trying to get them regular rares, my guy. We're trying to get them ultra rares. We are trying to get them ultra rares. So let's go ahead and keep it rolling and hope for the best. Was this Crimson Invasion? I messed up the pack trick. So we definitely got a Type Null Holographic. I will be taking down the Xerneas for the Type Null because I believe the Type Null is more playable and worth more money than the Xerneas right there. Not by a lot, obviously, but it's it's a, it's at least something. You feel me? So we got some more Ancient Origins right here. I'm just going to run through these packs a little bit quicker than usual because, let's be real, guys. Nobody is trying to see the Ancient Origins and the Crimson Invasion. Everybody, ooh, we got a nice Jolteon Holographic right there. So I'm not going to lie. We are hitting the Holographics hard, so that basically means that all of these packs aren't total duds but they're not ultra rares ladies and gentlemen so this was a green code and if you get a green code in crimson invasion you get nothing because there is no prisms no breaks or anything along those lines but as i was saying guys nobody is here for the ancient origins and crimson invasion everybody is waiting for your boy to open up the burning shadows because if i pull a charizard i am literally gonna go insane run outside and knock on my neighbor's door and be like yo i just got a charizard no okay i'm gonna stop but we got the eco arm and the reggie ice regular ray all righty buzzwell don't let your boy down you gotta give me some goods okay you gave me a Waiko. That's at least a good sign. Thank you, Buzzwell. Thank you for providing your boy with a color code of white. 
But let's see if he pulled through for your boy. Let us find out. And there we go. We got a Buzzwall GX out of a Buzzwall booster pack, my guy. Check that out. Why is your head so tiny, bro? Literally every time I see this card, I just cannot get over the fact that its head is so tiny. So we got ourselves a Buzzwall GX. That is very, very nice because... It's literally our only pool, and I at least wanted some ultra-rare bangers from these tins, you feel me? Because if we bought all of these tins and literally got nothing from them, I was going to be a little bit low-key salty, or actually high-key salty. So we got the Wooper, and we got the Registeel regular rare. And the reason why I would be low-key salty is because... I believe I paid around $100 for all of these tins after tax and whatnot because they're basically $12.99. We got six of them. It's basically $60 if you add up the 10 and then there's the $3 and then there's the tax. So you're basically at around $100 for all of these tins. And if I don't get some more ultra rares, I'm never going to buy this many Pokeball tins ever again you feel me because the packs they offer inside it's just not worth it you feel me it is just not worth it so we got ourselves another Eridos reverse and we got the primal groudon ex full art i believe this card right here is a card that you want to get from this set and that is because this card right here is absolutely beautiful i totally forgot that this card was even in this set guys check that out i was about to say gx because i'm used to seeing gx cards and not ex cards but guys that is a beauty right there so guys check this out right you see my face now like almost towards the end of the video right you know why so i was doing this entire recording right and I was recording the main camera, I was recording my voice, but I wasn't recording the face cam. I literally was not recording the face cam, my guy, so I apologize on my part. I Like, I really, really apologize because you guys could not see my reaction in pulling this card, the Buzzwell, or any other facial expressions that I was doing. And I have no idea why I didn't notice because my camera literally has like a little red record button if i'm actually recording on the screen when i'm looking at myself and for some reason i just didn't pay attention to that so first and foremost i'm sorry secondly we got to keep the show rolling unfortunately so like i said we got this primal grout on ex full art which is absolutely beautiful and we are definitely going to replace the buzzwell for this grout on because that card right there is a beaut Tea. but unfortunately we're gonna go ahead and end things off with a crimson invasion booster packs and it's a green code y'all it is a green code ladies and gentlemen and y'all already know what that means we got a regular rare so we opened up basically four tins right now and we got two ultra rares and three holographics that's not entirely all bad but it's not the best either so we still got six packs of burning shadows left and i am hoping that these packs can pull through and we can get some absolute gems from burning shadows now the main downside on burning shadows is if it's a green code we basically got a dud booster pack so if we keep getting these green coats from burning shadows then i feel like this oh there it is there it is ladies and gentlemen we got our first white coat in the burning shadows booster pack let's do four to the front and let's see y'all let's see if we can get that charizard baby because if we get that charizard i'm about to go low co so we got the lucario and we got the what we got double lucario action literally what are the odds of that happening literally slim to none because it's very difficult to pull rare reverses with their holographic form as well so that's actually pretty pretty cool i'm not gonna lie so let's put the reverse or the holographic in the pool pile and let's put the reverse towards the side and let's continue the opening in hopes of getting something more decent than that full art grout on even though that card is absolutely beautiful and amazing i feel like we can still do better and we can still get a card 
that is much better than the Groudon, even though I kind of feel like there is nothing else in Burning Shadows that can top that unless it's a Charizard because I'm, I kind of forgot what are the ultra rares in this set, I'm not going to lie, but I do know for a fact that I'm going to like Groudon more than a bunch of the ultra rares from Burning Shadows, but it looks like we are getting a ton of green code action, ladies and gentlemen. So we are definitely, definitely not going to pull anything from these remaining packs because we are literally down to our last booster pack of Burning Shadows. And it is a Tapu Fini booster pack, ladies and gentlemen. So if this is a green code, that is going to confirm that I am never going to buy these Pokeball tins ever again. Unless they release a new one, then I'm only going to buy the new Pokeball tin that they release. And I'm not. Ooh! <coughs> <coughs> Y'all, I'm dying. I'm choking on my own air. Does that even make sense? But guys, we got a green code. I'm excited now. I am honestly excited, y'all. Let's do four. And let's hope for the best, y'all. Let's hope for the best, guys. Because this might change my entire views on Pokeball tins. We got the Tynamo, the Togedemaru, and the final card in this opening, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be none other than... It's a holographic. It is a Raichu holographic, y'all. So that is very, very unfortunate. So ladies and gentlemen, we are now down to the recap. And this is what we have to show for. We got a total of five holographics, bro. Literally, we pulled a lot of holographics, which I'm not excited about. But we got a Buzzwool GX as our only regular ultra rare pool. And the star of the show is is a very beautiful Primal Groudon EX Full Art, ladies and gentlemen. And I am actually really, really proud about this one because it's a Full Art Groudon and it's a Primal, it's an EX. So I know for a fact that this definitely has some value, probably worth more than the Buzzwell because this card is just very, very clean. But without further ado, guys, let me know your thoughts on these Pokeball tins. Do you guys think they're a good deal? Do you guys think they're worth the $12.99 price tag, I honestly don't feel like they're worth the $12.99 price tag because you're basically paying for one Burning Shadows pack and the tin, basically the tin itself, which I feel like shouldn't really be that expensive because they get dented up very easily. But without further ado, guys, these are the results in our Pokeball tins. And without further ado, one more thing I want to mention. I'm sorry that the face cam was cut off for like the majority of the video because I literally did not notice until we pulled this Groudon EX. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.